so it's another Friday, which you already know means another study day. Um, today should be really exciting. We have an oral surgery one. Um, I know for the past two, three weeks we've been doing composites, so it'll be nice to do something different, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Right guys, so we arrived at the hospital and these are the pig's heads that we had to complete surgical extractions on. Um, it was actually really interesting carrying it out on a pig's head and it felt really realistic. I actually didn't record that part because of cross-contamination, but it was a good simulation. These are the suturing kits that we had to use afterwards. So here you can see, once we're done with the surgical extraction, we have to place stitches inside the gum, which is also known as sutures. So this is because after we've done a surgical extraction, we have to, um, during the process, we raise a flap and also some bone is removed. So the stitches are just placed just to um, encourage healing. Um, it's actually quite technique sensitive. So you have to make sure you have a good technique. Um, so yeah, it was really, really good to practice. Um, and after I was done, it was actually quite funny because one of my colleagues <laughs> took my phone and decided that he wanted to vlog as well. So here's my sutures and I'll let him take over. <laughs> Honestly, can you give it back to James? I'm going to him. How's suturing there? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, carry on, you're doing a good job. This is your Wande. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mandeep's YouTube channel now. So, so what are you doing here, you Wande? Continuous sutures. Mm. Mm. What's the clinical indication for that? When you're taking out multiple teeth. Um, yeah. Mm. I could be a lot of things. Yeah. Abby, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> how's your continuous <laughs> love? I mean, <laughs> Abby, I'm actually going to include this. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's that. Now let's get into the interview. Hello, my name is Shwada Patel. Um, I graduated from Birmingham Dental University in 2016. I then went on to do foundation training in North Central London and dental core training in East Quincid, Queen Victoria Hospital. Um, and then after that, I just um, did my MFDS and JDF. Got all my skills and qualifications, started a MSc in implant dentistry and um, now I have quite a mix in my week where I work part-time as a specialty dentist in a few hospitals doing general anaesthetic extractions and minor surgery and I also work in practice in NHS and private dentistry um, where I do extractions as well as normal dentistry um, and yeah. What is your advice to students that are interested in going down the oral surgery route? Um, I think definitely do DCT. It's extremely important. You'll get a feel for extractions or just specialty training in general, as well as keeping your options open, which is really important when you want to do things. And you don't know what you want to do yet, but if it is oral surgery, just um, research what your day might consist of, go into hospital and just see exactly what it's like day to day um, and just persist through. It's a lot of hard work in hospital but it pays off in the end. It's really fun day to day life um, but just keep going and decide early so that you can start um, focusing your career and targets on oral surgery or any specialty training. Have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah? Yeah. What's been your favourite part? General anaesthetic extractions. Wow. They're my favourite <laughs> and they're the best day of my week. She's really good. Today she's yeah. been teaching us about how to basically take out the aid. What have we been doing today? Um, so we have been taking out teeth on pig's heads, just so that you get a feel for it. Yeah, today I learned that pig's heads, they're much harder than real life. Right guys, so I hope you found that interview useful. Just wanted you guys to know that there are more routes to branch into oral surgery rather than just taking the normal specialist pathway and becoming a oral surgeon. 
Um, whereas at the moment, Shadra is a senior grade specialty dentist in oral surgery. So this is something I didn't know before. So I thought I'd share it with you guys in case this was something that anybody was interested in. Um, so yeah, it was a good day all in all. You can see here, here's my final sutures. Hopefully they stay in. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.